of God. I am a friend of God. I am a friend of God. He calls me friend. Thank you, Lord God, for calling us your friend. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for loving us so much. Yes. Thank you, God, for dying at the cross. Yes. For us, Lord God. Lord, we want to thank you yes. for your goodness. Yes. And we want to bless your name. We want to honor and worship your name, God. Blessed be you. 
nothing else can take your place. To feel the warmth of your embrace. To feel the warmth of your embrace. Help me find a way. Help me find a way. Bring me back to you. Okay, close your eyes. Look, look up to heaven. Don't close your don't, don't look into your stomach. Look up to Jesus. The Bible says that Jesus is at the right hand of the Father and He's praying for us. Through the Holy Spirit, Jesus is praying for you. Imagine he's standing right before you and has his hands touching your heart. And he's very safe, like a father. And there's healing that's going on in your heart. 
Your back doesn't hurt so bad. There's not so much stress. Now just take some deep breaths. And just walk with Jesus. And he's going to tell you where you are going and who you are and who he is in your life. Okay, don't talk, don't move, just be with Jesus. And breathe, remember to breathe. Focus for a little bit longer, eyes closed. Let Jesus touch your heart deeper. We just take a couple more moments and just love him. Wherever you're at, just begin to love on him. Begin to tell him how much you love him. How wonderful he is. How beautiful he is. There's an even greater experience of his presence.
is a greater <laughs> measure of knowing. <laughs> what are the heights and depths and length and width <laughs> of the great love of Christ? <laughs> so just engage him. So Jesus, show me. Oh. As I love you, show me how great your love is. You can experience as much of God as you want. If you just want a little, you can have just a little. If you want to experience a lot, he can overwhelm the entirety of your being and show you just how great his love is. Jesus.
dishonor you, Jesus. Mm. Mm. We just want our lives to continuously be hosting His presence. We know He's always abiding with Him. He never leaves us, He never forsakes us. But He's also a dove that rests upon. Lord, teach us to live lives that a dove would rest upon. Teach us to live lives that a dove would rest upon us. I don't know about you, I just love his presence. And yes, I'm a minister to the people, but I'm first a minister to the Lord. There's nothing greater than being before him. There's nothing greater than beholding him. Nothing greater than being with him. Nothing greater than knowing his great love. Nothing. I thank you, Jesus, even right now. You're going around the room and you're laying hands on every person here. You're laying hands on every person here. You're touching every person here. We just want our lives to be saturated. When it's saturated, it's a little messy to other people. But it's all his doing. I really love being undone. I love being undone by his glory. Oh, more Lord. You're so good, Jesus. Mm. One of my spiritual moms, she's a little lady from India. And she used to pray, she still does pray this prayer. She used to pray and she taught me how to pray. And she said, Lord, fill me with your love. Uh, 
Lord, fill me with your love. And she'd pray it and pray it and pray it until she felt she was full. But that wasn't enough, so she'd pray it and pray it and pray it until she felt she was overflowing. <laughs> and she used to work in a little cubicle in an office, and that just wasn't enough, so she'd pray it and pray it and pray it until the cubicle was full. And that wasn't enough, so she'd pray it and pray it and pray it until it was overflowing the cubicle. And then people would start coming to the cubicle. I don't know why I'm here, but I gotta be here. <laughs> she tells me stories of how she'll walk into Walmart. And <laughs> the people that are wearing the Can I Help You shirts are coming up to her weeping, saying, Can you tell me about your God? There's a life that's so saturated, you don't even have to open your mouth. People know. People are drawn. Christ has been lifted up, and all men are drawn to him. As he's exalted in your life, people are just drawn to Jesus. And you know, it's his love, that's all it's all about. It's all about his love. And someone that can't get beyond the love of Christ. One of my favorite things to say is, God loves you, and there's nothing you can do about it. Yes. Absolutely nothing. So you might as well sit back and enjoy it. You might as well accept it. No matter how hard you fight it, it doesn't matter. He loves you. He loves you because he loves you because he loves you because he loves you. And there's nothing that can change it. There's nothing you could do to make him love you more. There's nothing you can do to make him love you less. No matter how great the mess. <laughs> he loves you. 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 you can't escape it. What does David say? He goes, I can go to the heights of heaven and you are there. I can go to the depths of hell and you are there. You can't escape the love of Christ. You can't be separated from it. What does Paul say? What can separate us from this great love? 